Hey everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand presented by AT&T. After a hard-fought series win against the Indians under their belts, the Yankees have touched down in Houston for the American League Championship Series. Let's get you set for Game 1 against the Astros. The Yankees have reached the ALCS for the first time since 2012. They won Game 5 in Cleveland on Wednesday night by a 5-2 final. The Astros eliminated the Red Sox in four games, setting up this showdown between two of the top offenses in the American League. The Astros finished the regular season with 10 more wins than the Yankees, but the offenses were seemingly identical. Houston scored the most runs per game in the American League with the Yankees second. The Bombers hit the most home runs in the AL with the Astros in second. While on the mound, the Yankees team ERA is nearly a half run lower. The Yankees arrived here by winning three straight games to avoid elimination against the Indians and are arguably riding as high as any team that's left in the postseason. A big reason for that is due to minimal time off. That's kept the momentum going for this team. Meanwhile, the Astros finished off Boston in four games and have had the luxury of resting up at home for a few days. How the Yankees respond to a short turnaround against a well-rested Houston squad could be something to watch for early on in this series, especially in game one. We touched on it earlier, but let's go inside the numbers in breaking down both offenses. The Astros scored the most runs in baseball during the regular season with 896, while the Yankees were second with 858. New York hit 241 home runs to lead the big leagues, while the Astros finished with 238. The Astros break ahead in the fact that they were the only team in the majors to finish with an OPS over 800. People around baseball say their lineup may be the deepest and most versatile in the game because they have many ways to attack a pitcher, and they're also tough to get out. Houston finished with a 17.3 strikeout percentage, which was the lowest in the game. Of course, the Yankees offense has shown it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any team, and a big reason why is Didi Gregorius. One of the biggest underrated moves made by Joe Girardi in the ALDS was moving Gregorius up to the number three spot in the lineup. He made a count in game five with his two home runs off Cleveland's Corey Kluber. That's on top of his big three-run homer in the wild card game against the Twins. The point is, Didi Gregorius has surprised many, carrying the Yankees lineup on his back in October. What else can he do this postseason remains to be seen, but is certainly worth watching. In Game 1 of the ALCS, Masahiro Tanaka will be on the mound for the Yankees against Houston 8's Dallas Keuchel. The Astros are a team Tanaka has yet to conquer in his career. He's 0-2 against Houston in four career regular season starts, including one earlier this season when he gave up eight runs to the Astros. But Tanaka said Thursday he feels like he's a different pitcher from when he made that start in May. He proved it by tossing seven scoreless innings in Game 3 of the ALDS. Now will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Keuchel, a pitcher who has not allowed a home run against the Yankees in 188 plate appearances. He's also coming off a solid performance against Boston in the ALDS, meaning both players are coming into this 2015 AL Wild Card rematch on a high note. The Yankees led all of baseball in home runs this season. If they can get their first off Keuchel on Friday night, it could set them up to jump ahead early in this series. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Shackle.